This is Apple iPhone School's review of Tap Defense for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It's a free application, currently free, in the App Store. Okay, and we're going to start a new game. And we're going to start with easy. Okay, so up here it says the current status of your game, and then there's some tips down here. So um, it's going to tell you a little bit about the, about the game. It just says, defend heaven from the armies of hell, build at least two towers to completely obliterate <laughs> these gremlins. So we are going to continue. And if you hit play, the guys will start coming out, and they're going to walk down this path and try to go in here. So what we want to do is we want to build some different things. Now, we have arrows, bombs, and water is what's available right now. Later we'll get into more stuff, but up here in the top right we have the score and the level we're on, and the little angel's wings has a 20 after it. That's how many that can get through before the game's over, and we don't want them to get through. Um, then we have a halo, which we'll get some later, and that will help us um, research more things. And then there's money. So right now we have 70, looks like 75 coins so we're going to do a little bit of everything water slows people down um, there's also ice that we'll use later but water is a uh, the first option so what I try to do is um, I try to use this area here and this area here um, because th a lot of these will reach like where this one's at now it'll reach over to here so we'll get to actually use it twice so when they come by here they'll get hit they come by here they'll get hit then the ones that are in this area will do both sides so we want to use that area first so we hit finalize and that's where that one's going to stay and let's do um, some bombs and we'll do an arrow tower you just drag it wherever you want you can see this flashing area is the radius that it can hit now if you tap on these you can find out more information about them find out how much it costs to upgrade them see the little dot there next to the tower that there's three dots that you can get so it costs more to upgrade them and I'm gonna decline that call okay so um, so you can increase the distance um, you can increase how how many they shoot at a time um, you can sell it if you're not liking that and want to go put something else there so um, and you can upgrade which I don't have enough to upgrade any of these right now so upgrade later upgrading helps a lot um, the strategy in this game is where to spend your money. So here come the guys. I have it turned on so you can actually see how much power they have left. You can turn that off. You can also turn on, if you go back to your menu, you can turn on the sound. See, here's, there, here's the hide enemy health. Here's the sound. I do not like the sound. It's not bad when you have a couple. But when you have like 10 towers, it starts to get annoying. So I'm going to shut that back off. Okay, I guess I have to continue. It's telling me how many I killed, my percentage, my gold. Um, and then it's saying, locusts have always been underrated plague, so that really doesn't give you any tips. Um, we're going to go to the menu and shut off the sound. Okay, and so we still have the three options and our three towers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade um, the arrows tower. If you see the distance, and it's right down here, if I hit this, now it has a better hit rate and a farther distance. And I don't have enough to upgrade the other two. So I'm going to save my money because I already know that um, I'm going to be able to beat this level with just these three here. This game is really addicting. Probably because I can't beat it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to build this up a, a little bit and um, then I'm going to show you some more of the stuff that you can get later. Okay, so I've played a few levels. I'm up to eight, I believe, and now you notice that I have a halo, and I've got 125 coins. I've spent a lot of it on upgrading these three towers. I'm still only using three towers. I'm going to show you the research options. You can um, increase your interest, which uh, allows your um, money to accrue interest faster and, and make more money. 
Um, there's a storm tower, an ice tower, a magic tower, and then an earthquake, which is a, um, you can shake your phone and it will do an earthquake, but um, I like to use the ice, actually, because it slows them down a lot. Um, so if I add ice, now I'll see ice here. So I can tap ice, and I'm going to add ice right here. And I'm going to finalize that. And it doesn't look like it can upgrade anything. You'll see, look at my, my range now for my tower. It also shoots, um, says a rate of 2.1. So that's just the level of units that it measures in. But um, its damage is now 25. And its range is 125. There's no more upgrades available for it. So uh, one thing you got to be really careful of is your play button is right here. And if you have something selected, that's your sell button. So I've accidentally sold some stuff before an accident, and it's not, not cool. So here you go. You can play. You can see now that some of my guys are slowing down as they hit that ice and water. And it allows your towers to attack them longer. It really helps, too, when they get all bunched up like that. Okay, and I'm going to upgrade it. And I can't really upgrade anything else, so I'm going to keep uh, playing here and get it built up a little more. Okay, well, um, I only have two wings left, so I'm probably going to lose this level. Um, I've added a little bit of ice. It seems to work the best. And then I just uh, installed a magic tower. Um, it, it does damage based on percentage, so the more you can upgrade it... Um, See, oh no, it doesn't do, it's not percentage, it does 15 points. The storm is the one that does by percentage. So I'm also going to put, I was planning on putting one of those there, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to make it, because only two can get in, and I think they're kind of bunched together so much that the towers just can't keep up. It's kind of where you need to spread stuff out better. Yep, there's one and there's two. So that's over. So I'm going to save my score, and it actually saves it online with a bunch of others. And keeps a local score, too, which is kind of nice. I think most games uh, need to do this because you want to keep your own score and compare yourself to others here. So the highest level, which was actually that one, was 31. And... Um, then you can hit network scores, and people have made it to 43 to the end. So I'm just going to show you the the other two layouts, and that'll be it. This one is a shorter route, so you want to kind of use this area and this area so you can double up a little bit. And I've never actually seen this one. Yeah, it's pretty much just a straight shot, so it just gives you less area and less time to attack. So that's pretty much it. That is uh, Tap Defense for the iPhone from AppleiPhoneSchool.com.